Hey guys, this is Lo with the Polished Edge. So, I've got a bit of a project over here. As you can see, it is actually a param, and it is missing a handle, and the whole blade's actually crusted in rust. So, I've been commissioned to have this blade restored, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the rust to see if there's any cracks on the blade. Uh, sometimes with a blade that's this old, if there's a crack in the blade or in the edge or somewhere on the knife, it might not be worth restoring, all right? So that's something that we're gonna have to check for. Uh, carbon steel like this should be quite tough, but you never know. Sometimes it's been, it's been put through the ringer so much that a fracture has happened. Okay, so this is something I want to share with you guys. Now, can you see in the top here that this part material is being removed? And here, there's still some rust. Now, if I were to touch this, I'll just move my thumb up. You can kind of feel it flare out a little bit. And if we look back on this side, the side that I've not done anything yet on, you can see that the top, the spine of the blade, is actually mushrooming out. This tells me that uh, somebody tried to baton this blade with something really hard. I would guess that it would have been a hammer, all right, or something metallic, heavy, like a pipe, but uh, probably a hammer. But what that means is I'm gonna have to remove material, more material, just to bring that mushroom side down to the same level as the blade itself. A few of the things that I've done, okay, I've uh, removed as much material as I could, but you can see there's some really deep pitting over here. If I were to remove material until the pits are gone, I think I'd lose about one millimeter to two millimeters on this one side alone. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna hang on to this until I get another update, then I will uh, do another recording and let you guys know. Hey guys. So the handle came back. I think it took like maybe one to two weeks. Man, that looks really good. So as I mentioned before, I sent this out uh, to be made. Uh, this guy doesn't have an Instagram page, doesn't have a YouTube page. He has a Facebook page. And if I can't find it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it down below. And uh, yeah, I've sent quite a few handles and this is really nice work. One cool thing that I like is that unlike a lot of the local manufacturers of uh, wood products, um, they use shellac, okay? And I, I feel like it tends to make the wood look really cheap. This guy, uh, this one is, uh, is, is finished with either linseed oil or walnut oil. It smells like linseed oil to be fair. Anyway, here is his handle. Again, you've got that nice uh, sculpting over here. If you held it like this and like the pistol grip kind of hold really nice if you wanted to pinch up you could pinch it up and again you know uh, this swell over here is uh, where your pinky and your uh, fourth finger would actually sit and could actually do your flicking motions if you needed to really nice handle I was a bit unsure about the swell at first but pff, comfy really good Anyways, I've actually done a lot of the work already on the knife. All that's left is, I've sharpened it, it's already sharp, but I still need to refine it to a regular plus finish. I've got some new compounds, a big block of compound, which I'm gonna use to uh, polish the blade with, and we'll see how that turns out. Okay, let's get grinding. Look at that. 
that is quite a nice mirror might still be a bit hazy I just have to clean it up this new compound that I'm using is a little bit waxy that's all right <laughs> that's quite nice I think the crown really adds a little bit of flair to it all right let's see how it cuts Okay. Ooh. That's quite smooth. I'm happy with that. And it's got some really good bite to it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, put it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can DM me as well. You know, if you have a friend who's got a chunk of rust that uh, wants his knife restored, send him this video. Let him know that it can be done. And if you're in Malaysia, well, you can just send it to me and I'll get it done for you. <laughs> well, till the next video, you guys stay safe and stay sharp. Peace.